Okay, we're here with uh, Hidenori Ozaki, uh, the WBC winner. Um, so, firstly, congratulations. Thank you. Excellently done. Thank you very much. Um, it was a really, really great set. Mm -hmm. um, uh, how, does it, how does it feel to be a world champ? Um, it's hard to say, you know. Yeah. I felt, I felt I still, um, as, as if I was in a dream or something. You yeah. Know? So I still, yeah, I couldn't believe, you know, I became a world British champion yeah. and also, you know, the first time Asian versus champion, yeah. so um, yeah. just so you know, yeah. just like dream. <laughs> and it's not your first time competing, so yeah. there's obviously been a lot of stuff leading up to this. Who have you trained with? Who's really helped you? Um, okay. how, how have you approached it, you know? Okay, uh, my coach is a Pete Lekata. Yeah, yeah uh, last year's Yeah, uh, last winner. year's world well, British champion. I, I, we are very close friends, so we work in, we work together. Yeah. And we uh, we could pro we you know we train we trained really hard and you know yeah. and also speech and you know, some yeah, some big, small details. Yeah, the big part of it, and, the presentation. Yeah. Yeah. And for our our viewers at home who didn't get to see your set, uh, tell us a bit more about the coffee you used. Um, my coffee, I I use a um, for my competition. I I use a uh, two different coffee and for espresso so the coffee from coffee from Costa Rica okay the micro milk called Monte Cafe yeah and the farm called La Mesa and typical variety and red honey process yeah and slow drying this is espresso coast okay it's a, it sounds a little complicated though yeah what, <laughs> um, just as a more basic idea for the guys back home what kind of what kind of flavor notes could we expect from that um, it, it's this uh, the coffee, the, uh, the coffee I produce with yeah. uh, collaborating directly with farmers, uh, is focused on the espresso. Yeah. It's focused on the espresso, so it's uh, it's balancing with sweetness and acidity and slightly bitterness, and um, okay. you know most of most of our sweetness, yeah. dominant sweetness. Yeah. Yeah. And um, what do you what do you love most about coffee? What drew you into coffee first? I think. You know the relationship between producers and barista, like yeah, me. You know, big time. yeah, all the time. You know, my passion is always with the origins. Okay. You know, the, you know, being to origin and talk to producers and how can we improve the coffee? Yeah. And so how can we, you know, make the much more better coffee for next yeah. year? Then, you know, so yeah, all on, the time. Yeah. On that note, um, where do you see coffee going from here? I'm sorry, where, where do you where do you see coffee going uh, uh, from here forward? Yeah, for uh, yourself forward. as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, so uh, where do you see your career going, and how do you how do you see coffee developing oh, okay. with my, that as well? Mm -hmm. So, as I said, as I said, my passion is always with origins. So yeah. I wanted to, you know, I want to be much more focused on uh, origins yeah. and sourcing coffee and producing coffee with producers working together and you know source. And serving the coffee for the baristas. Yeah, this, I think that's my job for this industry. Okay. And also, um, I think this industry will be much more focused on the origins and the personal relationship yeah, between we see that producers. Trend de developing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it has to be, you know. But the extraction also it's very important. Yeah. But um, the coffee quality is at the origin yeah. all the time all the time so if you start with a bad coffee you're going to end with a bad coffee it's how can, how can i that. improve it so yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. cool um, well um yeah thanks for your time and thank you wish you best of luck in your future <laughs> endeavors thank you very much cheers